I'm Jada and these are my passions. So first I'm going to start off with my hobbies, things that excite me, things that I'm interested in. So my hobbies. My hobbies are writing. I really love writing. This is not a new hobby for me. I enjoy writing since I was a little girl. First keeping a journal like a typical teenager. A diary is what we called it back then. And um, I just like writing. I like writing everything. I like practicing my handwriting even since I was young. My mom used to make me practice my handwriting at the table. Like we used to do cursive. I don't think that's mandatory in school anymore. But it was when I was in school and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I think it's like scripted writing or something. People that do it professionally. I don't know how to do it that well, but I really like it. So another one of my hobbies that's also attached to writing is books, specifically children's books and poems. Like, I like writing children's books. I used to write little kids' stories. I don't have anything published, but I definitely used to write stories when I was little. And my mom had kept them for a while. So I haven't done anything recently as an adult, but it's it's a hobby. I like, I like writing poems that is something that's near and dear to my heart because my zodiac sign is a cancer. I don't know if they have anything to do with it. I'm Christian. I don't know if they have anything to do with it. <laughs> but I just, I'm just a lover girl. I'm a big softie. And if I could just be my authentic self, it would be in writing. And it would be in poetry because I can just use the words that I want, the gentle words, the deep meanings, all the things to express myself and just be so kind and nice to myself in my own poetry, to the world, however I see the world. Like, I'm just a big dreamer. And that's my soft side. Like, that's my lovey-dovey side. And if I could just be that way 24-7, just living my dreams and living my hopes and aspirations, that's where I want to be. Another one of my hobbies is organizing stuff and creating content. <laughs> I love organization videos. I love organizing stuff. I just love being organized. It just does something to my spirit. Like, <laughs> I've been this way all my life. This is not something that I adopted just because I'm an adult now and I have children. I genuinely love organizing and I love coded, color coded things. I love, um, what is it like mono i think it is and it's just neutral i just love all aspects of like organization <laughs> so if i could put it in the same color form i'm with it if i can put it from short to tall tall to short however you go which way you go i would like that if i could put it by date newest to the oldest <laughs> i just like organizing um, anyway, I could get something organized. If I could put them all in a basket, I just like it like that. Like a group of something to be able to label it, to be able to know it's a thing, to know where it's at, to just group it together. I just like that. Like I like organizing. So I have a lot of things organized in my room. So likely when things are not organized, you can imagine how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I be, mean, you know, living in an unorganized state, but it don't make me happy. And this is, I want to tell y'all what makes me happy. What makes me happy is organization. So the other thing is content creation. I love creating content and I didn't know that I was going to love it as much as I love it. And I love it here on YouTube, like no other platform because I just feel like I could be myself and I am myself everywhere, but I feel like I'm a curated version other places. And here on YouTube, like this series that I'm doing right here, my life journey, it just feels deep to me. It feels near to my heart. It feels like how I want to be authentically showing up to the world. Like if I had a resume that I was going to leave somewhere, it would be this my life series. And I'm so happy to make it. I mean, I don't know if it's typical or not. I didn't like get it from somebody else. I just thought to myself that 
one day I'm gonna be a cool YouTuber. <laughs> and people don't know nothing about me. So I wanna make friends. That's why I made my YouTube channel to begin with, which I wait to go into more. But I do wanna say that I did create my YouTube channel to make friends and to share my life. You know, I just wanted to have it somewhere. I got a crazy phobia of death. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think about it, you know, like everybody, I guess. Does everybody think about death? I don't know. But I just feel like if I'm going to be here, I want to be remembered in the way that I want to be remembered. Because many people are going to experience me how they experience me and judge me accordingly. And I'm just a human, so I'm going to mess up. I'm going to hurt some people in my lifetime. I'm going to do things wrong in my lifetime. So this, my YouTube, is just like a way for me to present myself how I want to be seen. And I guess I'm going to be on here being seen how I don't want to be seen. But that's, you know, what comes with the territory. That's a part of the journey to just be observed. And um, I'm okay with that. But for the most half, like, I definitely created my YouTube First and foremost, to make friends and then to share my life experiences, to document my life so that I can look back on it and be like, oh, I did that, you know. And, you know, and my kids will be able to see this one day. And I have so many things on my channel, even at this point, and there's so many to come. So with everything that's going to be on there, I want this to be there. You know, I want them to be able to see their mom and see me for who I think I am because I'm just their mother. They don't, I think they don't really know me as an individual. I think they know me as their mother, you know, just a motherly figure, authoritative figure, not like all aspects of me, like my imaginary side, my self side, it's just, I don't know. I feel like people get different sides of me. So that's why I'm making this. I don't know if this next one can counts as a hobby. But I legit like thinking about how to make people happy. And I love that about me. Because life is hard. Oh my god. Life is hard. And I love that God gave me this big heart. This beautiful heart. This gentle heart. That just wants to love on people. And just wants to change the world. And heal the world. And I know I probably sound like a pageant girl right now. <laughs> but that is really how I feel. I grew up watching pageants too, by the way. And that's really my soul. That's really my spirit. That's how I am. Like, I want to love you. I want to help you. I want to I wanna fix you. I want to change you. I want to support you. I, I want to do whatever's good. Like, you know, not saying nothing's wrong with you. But that's just my personality. Like, I just, I want to do for people. As much as I can on this side of the earth. Because <laughs> I hope to go to heaven one day. And I hope God said, you are approved. Come on in. So, everything I say here is going to be from my heart. It's going to be, if I don't care what nobody think about me. Not caring, because not if. I'm not going to care what nobody thinks about me. And I don't care how mushy it gets. I don't care how stupid I sound. I don't care how biased I sound. This is my life journey. And these little nuggets that I'm going to give y'all about myself is who I really am. So y'all can make a decision. Y'all can make a sound decision. That's my girl. I like her. I don't like her. Mm, maybe I'll check back <laughs> in two more series and see what, what else she about. Do what you want with the information. Is I'm just, you know, here to tell you who I think I am. And I think I've done a good job at that over the years, studying myself and um, figuring myself out. Next are things that excite me. I love HGTV. Love it, love it. I love Property Brothers. I love anything home decor, all those kind of TV shows and stuff, whether it's Love It or Listed. Um... I'm mad at myself right now. That I can't remember this. The um, what's the one with the um, they like in the farmhouse. Uh, oh my god, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I can't believe that. But I love HGTV. That excites me. 
So making friends excites me. I love meeting people. Like I really do. Like I've lived long enough that sometimes them experiences could be scary, but overall I love meeting people. Like it's something about connecting with other people, learning where they came from, hearing their story, knowing their journey, knowing I'm not alone in the things that I'm going through. Um, knowing that I've grown and I have resources that I can give to them. Like, I just like to see people light up. I like to make them happy. And I just like to do humanitarian things and help people. So I like making friends and just being a positive light, you know, somebody that's dependable, just a quality person, you know, a good citizen to society. <laughs> I like following the rules. Yes, <laughs> I do. Like, I find it intriguing because... It's so easy to break the rules and it's very hard to stay in the rules. Now, our rules might not be the same rules. Like, I follow the rules out of the Bible that I believe in, my Christian faith. So, I like those rules. They are hard rules, by the way. And I don't even always get to be, like, on top of all of them the way I want to. But I hope God has mercy and grace on me and you know those are the goals those are the goals those rules are the goals I love fashion I love being a girly girl like I have my little sparkle earrings on I always love a good sparkle can y'all see my earrings they got feathers on them and diamonds I'm very feminine I love dresses and shoes over everything like if I could wear a dress and shoe all year long that's where I would be at. <laughs> My feet probably wouldn't appreciate it, but I am a girly girl through and through. So I am trying to be more modest in my clothes, but I think some things I wear may suggest that I want to be noticed. Y'all can take that how y'all want because I feel like it goes like both ways, like modestly noticed, like, you know, Put some respect on it like don't play with me <laughs> like you know i'm covered but i'm cute and also i want to be you know the s word sometimes i hate that word it's sexy <laughs> i hate sexy i prefer beautiful over sexy i and i i think that's because of my religion and my faith i think something about being sexy scares me I don't know why it's just because it just draws attention in the wrong way and then you know what the word is mixed up with sex sexy so i'm not having sex <laughs> and so trying to be sexy is um it don't it don't really go but i would be lying if i didn't say that i want to have a flat stomach and like a good looking body and curves everywhere and to be lean because it's sexy. I, I want to look sexy. But I definitely prefer beautiful over sexy. Like, if a man was going to compliment me, like, don't call me sexy. Like, I would get mad. Like, I call me beautiful. Say I'm beautiful. Say I'm pretty. Don't call me sexy. It's just, I just want to have a healthy looking body and be able to wear anything. And some things, like even this dress I have on now is fitted. And I think this is sexy. I did my hair up today and my makeup. So I feel I feel beautiful and sexy. But this is not as beautiful as I think I could be. Like if, if I was like the colors, you know, if you're into color therapy, like lights, pinks, whites, um, something flowy, dreamy, that's beautiful to me. Like a nice, um, like a summer dress, a, I forget what it's called. Uh, I think it's like a maxi dress. Am I? I'm not sure, but if it's not princessy, then like country chic. That's beautiful to me. So I would want I would want that aesthetic. This to me is I guess my version of sexy because like the glam, glam is sexy to me. So the earrings and this fitted dress. So love excites me. Love is another thing that excites me. I love love. I love people and I just love being loving and giving love. So love is exciting to me. I should have said this one first, but Jesus is exciting to me. <laughs> like I love learning about the Lord. I love learning about God and 
I love learning how good he is and how pure he is and all the wonderful things that he did in the Bible. Like, that's so exciting to me. I love Jesus, and that's important for me to say in this video.